Hello YouTube, this is my mini torch. I might have the flame a little too high. This is the smallest tip of the three. It goes three, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's really hard to read the numbers on it, but we're going to take it to the tip of this nail. I got this for small, not really for soldering jewelry, but you know there's times you want to heat something up. You know, small, in a small area. And that's pretty quick. I don't know how good you can see it on camera. I do have the bright lights on, but we'll go down here further on the nail. We'll back off. Because you know what propane torch is like. I can get map gas. I have different ends, but I got this. Not really. I may learn to solder. I probably won't make no jewelry, but I did watch a guy. He said it was 8th inch. It was like 3 16th. He kept it on there. I don't know what tip it was, but it melted the steel away. I have a fire extinguisher. Safety first. Also have a spray water bottle for small stuff. When I make a big mess here, we're going to see what it'll do to this nail. We're almost out of oxygen. We have to go get her tank. Nope, that might have did it. Oh, we'll pause here and we'll see what the deal is because we are low on oxygen. Okay, we're back. We're low on oxygen. So we tried turning the flame down a little bit more. We did have it cranked up too much for a little tip. We really did. Uh, can't give it exact numbers on the gauges over there, but it's going to take a lot longer to heat it up this time. I just wanted to give you the idea and then We'll let it cool down and give you some close-up views on the camera and then picture of it in the box. But I got that bad habit. Don't get up there like that. So everybody wants to get up there. You see me doing it? Don't do that. Don't get the stay back here. Your heat's at the very tip of the flame. It ain't down in here. I don't know why I have that problem doing that. I do it with a brazing tip too. So see, we're not gonna melt the nail now. You can talk. Yeah, we got it way down there, but we're going. We're not going by the whole long flame now. We're going by that little tip in there. I know it's hard to see. If I could just shade, so. we're not going by the whole long flame. We're going by the little pointy flame down or right coming out of the tip. It is hard to see. I know I've got bright lights in here. We might be able to go down here. I don't know if you can see it unless it's like in a dark room, but. Okay, we'll pause here and then we'll show you this thing up close. Okay, not to throw a bunch of safety tips at you, but there's our one-way check valve spark arresters right here. So, you gotta have them somewhere. Don't run a torch without them. And I learned a lot of this stuff when I was a kid. Our neighbor had a cutting torch. So, and he junk cars. You catch on to that stuff pretty quick. But, yeah, not a whole bunch of safety stuff here. Now, my tank's so low, I couldn't even maintain 10 PSI on the gauge. I mean, it's out. I've got to go get another one, so it was not even maintaining 10. You'd get it going, you'd watch the needle dropping down to zero, and then you'd try to crank it up to like 20, and it still, I mean, you can't do that. You can't keep trying to increase the pressure because the tank is low. But Okay, off the look of the torch. I thought I'd just give you a good view while I'm yakking so you can see the setup. Um, Check for bubbles, had my soapy water. I had a leak here, I had this off a couple times kind of inspecting it. And because I had my other torch hooked up here for years, so I had to do a little bit of cleaning there with a really dry clean rag. You know, no oil on the threads, lecture, I'm doing it again. And then crack them and blow everything out before you hook anything up. You know, don't do this stuff if you don't know what to do it. I mean, I've got years of playing with a torch, so. Here, let's go over here to the bench, put this thing back on the tripod, and we'll get a little better look at the torch. Okay, we did take a picture of the box. I mean, there's so many versions on Amazon. I just decided to pick this one because it was like the only one that actually showed a picture in the box. And I watched some YouTube videos, and it's a copy of a name brand, but yeah, there's no number two tip. I, I did see in the complaints, you know, the reviews. It goes three, four, five, six, seven. Two is probably so expensive because 
They say two and three is a laser cut through a sapphire to get the orifice that small. And it's right here is why I, why I did that. Why I picked this one. The three smallest, one through three. So, you could pause on that. So, I'm not going to try to take close-up pictures of that. So, we'll pause on that, too. And I don't get paid to show any of this. I, this is my own money. I paid for it. I even uh, rushed it. Two-day shipping. I wanted it before the weekend. So, there you go on that. The numbers are very hard to read on these. It's almost, was that illegible? But here you go. That's all it is. Got your gas and your oxygen. And some of these did not have this design on the... So I purged it out to clear the regulators. Some of them did not have this design on here. There was more knurled, regular knurled. And that's how you change your tips. And that's just fairly tight. I mean, I had the little crescent wrench here. And I just barely tightened it. I wasn't going to crank down on that. But pretty small. Not much bigger than a soldering iron, so... Uh, I'm gonna have fun with it. I'll, I'll be doing some videos of me working with it So I just want to get out there and show it so if I'm working in a video I don't you know have to stop and show it while I'm doing something. So thanks for watching